All right, collective. Hello, hello. Peace, love, and light to you guys. This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot, and I am back, guys. Hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. For all of you guys that are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate your time and energy. To all of my returning viewers, hey, guys. Hello, hello. I hope you guys are doing well. What's going on? All right, so we're going to get started. We're going to see what this energy is about, guys. So I don't know for sure what is going to come out. So, of course, take what resonates and leave what doesn't, okay? For all of my cross watchers that is watching for Scorpio, of course, the roles can be reversed, guys. He can be a she, she can be a he, okay? Sorry, I have my little cup here. I'm drinking and sipping on some lemonade here. <laughs> all right, so... <clears throat> Let's get into this energy, Scorpio. So this is going to be like a late night tarot. We're going to see what's the energy, what's going on, okay? All right, so Holy Spirit, I call upon you right now to join me in this reading for the star sign of Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Show me what I need to see. Please clear out the energy. I want to welcome in Archangel Michael, Gabriel, Raphael ancestors of my fellow scorpios who is of love and light universe spirit guides and holy spirit let's clear out the energy here guys all right and of course guys always keep in mind that i am open for and available for personal reading so if you would like a personal reading with me all of my information will be down in the description box okay all right so all right let me get some of my oil on my hand all right holy spirit i ask that you protect my energy from any demonic forces negative entities any witchcraft demonic forces that's coming towards my channel or myself that ask that you bind the energy back to his rightful owner in jesus name and it is so Amen and amen. All right. Okay, so let's get this energy here. Let's see what's going on. All right. What is the energy, Holy Spirit? Show me what I need to see for Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What is the energy for Scorpio? <clears throat> Hang on, guys. All right. Show me what I need to see for Scorpios. Late night message. Show me what I need to see for Scorpio. What is the energy here? Okay. All right. So first card is the number five, conflict and defeat. Okay. Okay. Let me bring my lighting down a little bit more. All right, so conflict and defeat. Okay, tell me more, Holy Spirit, <clears throat> for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thank you. We have the number five again, wisdom. Hmm. So the number five, five can be significant to you guys. Of course, the number five represents change. So there are some changes that's coming towards you guys. Hmm. Thank you. We have the number two, conflict, mental conflict. So, wow, we have the word conflict here twice. Hmm. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the number 16, disruption. This is the Tower card, which is Scorpio energy. Okay. So, what I'm seeing here, guys, someone here is facing a lot of trouble within their energy right now. Someone is facing a lot of conflict, defeat, battles, arguments, fights, petty arguments. Wow. Someone is going through a lot right now. This could be you or someone with your energy. We also have the number five, which is wisdom. There's someone here that is very, very wise here. This is someone who has done the inner work. This is someone who has done the soul searching energy. Someone who has educated themselves. Someone who has um, looked within themselves for answers and also for the universe. We have the number two, mental conflict. So like I said, I'm seeing conflict here twice. So there is something going on within your energy or someone around you. I'm getting with the mental conflict. 
someone here is doing a lot of thinking here. Someone is definitely in their head. Someone is feeling like they're at a crossroads, possibly. An indecisive type of energy. Hmm. Someone here is facing some trouble with the disruption card. Someone could be going through a spiritual awakening. Someone could... This could be a disaster in someone's life here. Hmm. I'm getting trouble waters energy. I feel like with wisdom and conflict of feet, in order for someone to get out of this conflict, this battle, this war that they're dealing with mentally, emotionally, or spiritually, they're needed to gain the is the wisdom, but someone is indecisive. They don't know which route to go. They don't know. It's a very tough decision. But someone could be going through a spiritual awakening here. Hmm. This is interesting. All right. So let's get some more energy on this, guys. Let's see. And of course, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. So I see the angel number here, 552. Definitely look up that number to see what that could mean to you, okay? And of course, my hands is oily from the oil that I placed on my hand. Show me what I need to see. Clarify conflict and defeat. Clarify conflict and defeat. What is this about, spirit? <clears throat> Clarify conflict and defeat for the collective of my Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Why is conflict and defeat here? What's going on, spirit? Okay, so we have fearless. Okay. Bold, confident, and brave. Hmm. Tell me about wisdom. Someone is needed to stand their ground. Someone is needed to be brave to come out of this conflict that they're dealing with, feeling defeated, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, even physically. Someone is needed to be confident to get out of this energy. Tell me about wisdom. Oh. Tell me about wisdom. This could be you guys' energy where you have went through a lot of troubled times. Um, this is giving me the five of swords. So this could have been an abusive relationship. People coming at you. You feel like there's always a war going on within your energy around you. Feeling like you can't get out of trauma for some reason. Spirit is calling for you guys to be bold and get yourself out of this energy. Be fearless. Be strong. Be courageous. Be brave here. Stand in your power. Face these battles head on. And don't give up. Tell me about wisdom. Thank you. We have abrupt ending. Hmm. Unresolved issues, unfinished business, and divine timing. Oh, okay. So in divine timing, something is going to change. I feel like also something is coming to an end. You may feel like you do have some unresolved issues within a personal relationship within yourself. This could be an actual relationship where someone does feel like you guys have, have unfinished business and possibly I'm getting someone is trying to gain the inner wisdom. I'm getting someone here is in hermit mode. This could be you or your person. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini born on the 5th. So that's why 5-5 five, five is here. So of course, fives are changes. Hmm. Yeah, thank you, Spirit. And I kind of felt the energy. Solitude was at the bottom. I didn't even look at the deck here. Someone is definitely isolating themselves. And I kind of got that hermit energy here as well. Someone is doing some soul searching here after an abrupt ending between you and them. Someone is gaining the inner wisdom that they're needing to resolve any issues that you guys may have had. Hmm. <clears throat> Hang on one second. Tell me about mental conflict. Why is mental conflict here? Hmm. Someone is really trying to gain the knowledge that they're needing to handle any unfinished business. But I'm also getting you guys have withdrawal your energy and you have gained the inner wisdom since you and a person have separated. Because of the fact there was a lot of conflict and defeat between you guys, you got yourself out of this. You were bold enough to get out of a very stressful situation, an abusive relationship, mentally, emotionally, or physically, things came to an end very suddenly. 
and now you're isolating yourself with strong energy to gain the inner wisdom that you need to move forward all right so we have vision imagination physical reality future outlook dreams and wishes so a lot of you guys are at a crossroad because i feel like you wanted this relationship to work you are imagining how things would be in the future for you guys you're at a crossroads because you were hoping and wishing that this person could be the one, but looks like things fell apart here. Hmm. Hold on. My ashes are falling off from this. Okay. <laughs> Confirmation. The shadow is working. <laughs> at the bottom, we have missed opportunity, get remorse, and regret. So this person does feel as though. There is some losses here. They have a lot of guilt, remorse, and regret. They feel like they missed an opportunity with you. Yeah. It's okay, Papa. It's okay. <laughs> That's confirmation. Shadow is barking. <laughs> right. I know. It's okay. Back to the reading, guys. So, yeah, someone is definitely in a lot of mental conflict due to the fact that they may have envisioned you guys going a little bit further into you guys' relationship. Maybe this is your energy as well because you're feeling like you're at a crossroads because the way you envision things, you were hoping that your dreams would have came true with this person. You were wishing that things would have worked out, but maybe God separated you and this person for a reason. With this tower energy here. Things fell apart between you and this person. Yeah. Hmm. Let's get a little bit more clarity on this, guys. I'm going to be using my Holy Grail Tarot. Okay. All right. Tell me more about conflict and defeat. <clears throat> Tell me about conflict and defeat along with fearlessness. Fearlessness and conflict and defeat. Why is they here for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? But yeah, for some reason, I'm getting that mental conflict. It's kind of like you're questioning. You're like, oh my gosh, you know, I wanted things to go further, but now things have ended. I was imagining our future. I already had our future planned out. You know, my dreams, my wishes, things I wanted us to do together. And now you're at this crossroad, not knowing what to think, not knowing what to feel. You're definitely in your head. Wow. Tell me about fearlessness and conflict and defeat. Conflict and defeat along with fearless. It's kind of like you had a different vision when it came to this relationship with this person. Oh no, there's too many cards here. So I'm going to get the one that flipped over here. So we have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Hmm. Things are about to change in your favor. Good fortune, different changes. I feel like you guys are, this situation that you dealt with with this person, all of this, you know, war and arguments and defeat, disrespect being thrown around, someone playing games with you, all of this conflict that you were dealing with, with this person, because you were so fearlessness, you had this bold, this confident energy to get out of this situation. You stood up for yourself. Now things are about to turn in your favor destiny you're changing as an individual this is a cycle that you had to complete and go through in order for other doors to open up for you okay tell me about abrupt ending and wisdom honestly i feel as though this ending between you and this person this was meant to happen for you to gain the inner wisdom for you to work on yourself for you to face your fears okay everything is happening for you in divine timing all right so we have two cards king of swords and the star so I'm getting Aquarius energy for both cards. Hmm. Let's see. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And I'm sorry, the Wheel of Fortune is fixed signs, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, and Taurus. Okay, so so far we do have um, Aquarius energy here so far. Like I said, I really feel as though this ending that you have with this person, it brought you a lot of wisdom, possibly energy that you never felt that you would have done before. You are in this energy of healing while you're in isolation. Isola I can never say that word correctly. Isolation. <laughs> isolation. 
you are aligning your soul. You are aligning your chakras. You're aligning as an individual. You're healing. You're keeping hope alive while you're going through this introspection and you're going through the healing phase of your life. This is a renewal of your spirit with the divine. Okay? With that king of swords. I feel like now you're more knowledgeable than you've ever been before because this wisdom card is here. You're now more logical. You're using head above heart. You know, your story may influence someone else. Right now, I'm getting the energy that you guys are very intelligent, the way you speak, the way you move. You are taking back control of your life and cutting away people, places, and things that no longer serve you. You now are more aware of who you are as an individual. This wisdom that you have gained has taught you how to be strong, how to be... What's the word I'm looking for? <clears throat> You're more precise as well. You're definitely standing in your power. Like I said, you're using head above heart now. This wisdom that you have gotten just being separated from this person and you were bold enough to come out of this conflict and defeat, this helped you become a more stronger individual, male or female. And now you're in this energy of, you know what? I need to realign my soul. I need to connect to my spirituality. I need to connect to the universe and divine. I need to allow my spirit guides to guide me on this journey of giving me the wisdom that I need to open this book, to gain more insight about who I am. And because you are doing this, even though things did come to an abrupt ending, this gave you a little bit more clarity as well. You're standing up for yourself. You're setting the record straight. You're putting your foot down. And because you're doing that, you're going to receive the happiness that you're looking for, a happy life, emotional wisdom. You're going to be so content within your life here. Tell me about vision and mental conflict. <clears throat> Tell me about vision and mental conflict. Tell me about mental conflict and vision. Why is that here? Thank you. Look at you, Scorpio. The death card. Scorpio energy. And we have the ten of pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Okay. All right. So at the bottom, six of swords. Yeah. Beautiful energy. You're receiving that mental clarity. Even though you're in mental conflict, you may be feeling like you're at a crossroads, you feel stagnant, you don't know what to do, how to move. I feel like now you're in this energy of, you know what, it's time for me to release and let go of what no longer serves me. You guys are going through a metamorph metamorphosis energy, excuse me, where you're transferring your energy, you're shutting off old skin, you're shutting off the old you, okay? You're being brave and bold and confident enough to move forward, to gain the inner wisdom, the inner knowledge, healing your energy, being very influential towards others. Standing strong and firm, you're transitioning into a whole new person. Yeah. You may have been a little indecisive. Damn, should I go this way? Should I go that way? Because whatever this vision that you have for yourself, you were hoping that this relationship would have been more than what it was. It left you at a crossroads. So now that you're now releasing and letting go over no longer serves you, you're shedding the old skin, you're facing your shadow self and you're starting to work on yourself more. Now you're able to create a solid foundation for yourself, your family. Okay? Yeah. You're going to receive ultimate happiness, creating legacy for your family, generational wealth, and establishing values within your home. Six of Swords, you now receive the mental clarity that you're needing. Yeah. Yeah. You're definitely going through a very powerful transition within your life. You're on this journey to seek harmony. And I feel like since this situation has put you in such deep mental conflict where you feel like you didn't know what to do because your vision that you had was that we're going to live happily ever after. Things are going to work out this way. I already have my, my wishes set up, you know, my plans out for this situation. I'm kind of also getting this seven of cups energy where you may have been confused you may have been sold a dream or you put yourself into this illusion of what could have been. And this is why you could have been at this crossroads in this mental conflict because you wanted happiness. You wanted love, health, and wealth. You were hoping that whatever you envisioned came into the physical reality. Okay. So you're still able to get this 10 of pentacles just now going to be on your terms and now not someone else's. 
So you're leaving the past in the past and you're moving forward with the Six of Swords here with the Hierophant card, Taurus Energy. Hmm. I feel like once you are moving forward, not only will you be moving out of rough waters into calmer waters and you're receiving the Ten of Pentacles, you are also being more connected to your spirit guides, the Holy Spirit, the divine, your ancestors as well. You're believing more into more of the energy of you realize keeping your faith, keeping your word with God really pays off with you. I'm also getting to the fact that now you may end up being a spiritual speaker for someone else. And that's not for all of you, but I feel like you're going to be more spiritual and more traditional that you're going to possibly end up being a speaker to someone else. You may be able to help other women, other men that's going through similar situations, just being a very devoted person and representing the universe. I'm also getting there that by the time you move on and you've learned your lesson from this situation, you may end up finding someone or run into someone where you may end up getting married, building a life together with someone, maybe having kids. Okay. But in order for this to come, you had to get out of this false reality that you have with someone else. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. This is beautiful. So this is more the energy of rags to riches type of energy this is the energy of some people that have been through so much in a relationship that they thought they never would have got out of it never got out of it but you were strong and courageous you got yourself out of this you gained the wisdom that you needed by isolating yourself you know this is beautiful scorpio all right this is what i have for you i'm going to enter right there peace love and light to you guys thank you so much for joining me in this reading of course, if this reading resonates with your energy or your story, of course, leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much, guys. Bye-bye.